Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog and I'm back with part 3 of this PO Box mail opening. Ah, so there never seems to be a perfect time to film these. Um, you may hear some humming in the background outside because I don't know, they're doing something. They're doing some construction. I have no clue what they're doing. Nus and I are watching out the window the whole time, but we still can't figure out what they're actually doing. So they're making noise. I was waiting and I also have a little bit of a headache and my glasses are still dirty, I cannot clean them. I was so so excited to actually film this video because I have, like I said, this is part three. I have already uploaded, I mean I have already filmed part one and two, but I received 12 pieces of meal in my PO box. I picked up 12 pieces of meal and some of them were so big and I just couldn't fit it all into two videos. So I figured I would do three instead. And today we're going to open the last four and only looking at these envelopes is making me so, so excited. I'm really sorry for my cat. I don't know how to get her to stop doing that when I make videos, but good news is, oops, I actually already opened the envelopes, but I did not look yet. I just opened them for, you know, to make this a little bit more fluently. I'm still surrounded by all of the presents I received in the previous PR box openings. I have this little balloon here and a teacup warmer that I still have to try. I haven't actually been on my computer yet. Mm, I'm. I'm wearing the lip gloss I received and I'm also wearing the socks. I don't think I can actually show you, but I'm wearing the socks I got from Louisa. Okay, that was very, very awkward. Um, I'm just going to advise you to check out the previous two unboxings if you want to see what else I received because I've been so spoiled and to see that I have four more envelopes to open just makes me incredibly happy. So I wanted to say that I also want to say some more things and then I promise I will go to actually opening this. And that is two things. I don't know if I said it in the previous unboxings, but I've actually been doing really well with replying, with sending replies. I don't actually know, I don't know how many I've sent out this month, but definitely more than six. So I'm really proud of myself and I sent out two yesterday, one to Germany, one to, I forgot, I think Australia if I'm correct, but I finally figured out how I'm going to keep track of everything I send out because sometimes I take pictures of the mail I send out so that I can remember what I sent and to whom, but then they get lost in the thousands of pictures of noose I take every day, they're just like in between all my other pictures and I hate that. Then I also have a notebook that I used to write stuff down in, but I, then I forgot to write it down. And then I don't actually remember what the meal looks like. So I need a picture to kind of spark my memory. And now I have found the perfect solution. So I'm going to share this with you guys in case you want to do it yourself. I downloaded a photo diary app. I can't believe I didn't think of this before. I downloaded a photo diary app and then you can even, I don't know what it's called. I just typed in photo diary at Google Play and then I found a couple and I picked the one I liked most. And then you can also uh, give the, 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 the diary entries different categories. So I have one category that is, um, one category that is PO box replies and one category that is pen pals. So I can see the blue ones are the PO box and the pink ones are my pen pals. And then I can take a picture of the envelope because for some reason I always remember what the envelope looks like. I can take a picture of the envelope. I can write the name of the person and where it's going because I kind of, I find it kind of fun to see where all my mail is flying to. So I write down, write down the name of the person and the country and then I, I add a second or sometimes even a third photo to show what I sent. So I don't actually take pictures of the letters because you know I feel like that wouldn't really add anything but I do take pictures of the the content of the envelope. So I wanted to share that with you because oh my gosh I feel like all my problems are solved and one more thing I was thinking of doing is because I know how much mail I send out and I try to tell you guys sometimes but it also might happen that mail gets lost. That makes me very sad, but it did actually happen once already um, that I sent mail and it never arrived. And that just makes me sad because then I thought of, I, I, I put energy and time into sending something to someone and then that person will never know. So what I thought of doing is also taking pictures of all the outgoing envelopes, not the inside, only the envelopes. 
and then sharing them on YouTube. Like once a month, I will make a collage of all of the ones I've sent out and then write down the name, for example. Uh, let's see, this one doesn't have a name. Uh, let's say I would reply to Stephanie from the USA. I would write one of these envelopes went to Stephanie from the USA, blah, blah, blah. And then you guys could see if your name is in there and then hopefully we can figure out if everything arrived or not. But okay, that was all of my chit chat for now. I'm going to pick a tea and then I'm just going to get started. Which one, which one, which one? Ooh, green tea with jasmine. I did not write down who I got this from, but that actually sounds pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this. Oh, smells nice. New English teas. I love the color of this bag as well. Okay, I'm just, you know what? I'm just going uh, one by one. First we have this purple envelope and it doesn't have a return address. So maybe it's on the inside, but I do have a feeling I recognize this handwriting, but I don't know if that's possible. So we're gonna figure out, because I'm really t I'm terrible with remembering names, but handwriting for some reason I recognize. And then we have these beautiful German stamps from Flowers. I really love them. And they're perfectly in, they're perfectly, they're like, how, oh my gosh, I'm losing my ability to speak English. Let me, let me tell you guys, I had therapy this morning at nine and then I have to get up at seven and I just, I get very sleepy from that. And then with therapy, you have to think so much for like an hour and a half and then afterwards my brain is just fried. But okay, I'm always torn between keeping the perfect ones uh, myself or sending them to my uh, stamp collecting neighbor. I've already said that so many times. I really hope, oh, you guys aren't tired of me yet. Oh, that's so pretty. It's a little rosette. Oh, it's a flip book, I think. And this is the letter. Let me just quickly take a peek. Oh, Rosita, see, I knew I recognized your handwriting. You actually get into this. Of course, I will read the letter um, more closely afterwards. We have this really, really pretty pink flip book. It says enjoy, and we have a pretty rosette here on the front, which I absolutely love. It's so, so colorful and cute. And then, oh, it says happy birthday, Vivian. It's so cute. And we have little cat stickers. And this says just for you. Oh. Okay, 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 I'm taking it back. Her return address is actually on the back of this paper and it's a really pretty little flip book. I actually, I actually want to make one of this, um, this like this template because it, I quite like it. And, uh, like a decoration on this side and then some tea here and some goodies in there. It says tea time, feel free and fresh. Fennel, citron and pepper, peppermint. I have to admit, I don't usually like peppermint tea, but I'm going to try it anyway. And then this looks like, hmm, this actually, I don't know if I'm correct, but the, the tea bag looks a little bit like bedtime tea. And it says fruit tea with glue wine flavor. That's quite interesting, actually. So I'm going to have to try that as well. Thank you so much, Rosita. I definitely will try the both of them. And then we have this cute pocket here with also some washi tape samples. Really cute pink kitty. That's absolutely adorable. I've never seen that before. And then this one with Minnie Mouse, which is really cool because I also have some Minnie Mouse items I could pair that with. And then some vintage stamps. Always love, love, love these. I think I would use these for decorating. Because my stamp, the, the stamp collecting neighbor I was talking about, he's very strict in that you're not allowed to actually cut off the the edges. <laughs> so I will use these for decorating. Really, really adorable. Thank you so much, Rosita. I am going to put your address in the reply pile, of course. And I cannot wait to use everything you sent me. I am going to, I have to, find sticky notes and then I can put your name on here so I can put them in the uh, in the tea basket. Next up is this pretty envelope from, let me check again, Stephanie. She also has this really pretty wax seal stamp with an S on it. By the way, I have to say I, I, I am expecting a package any moment now. Very exciting. I'm really excited about that. It's a package from of Linders in your bag, which is a web shop, and I got to pick some stuff, and then I'm really, really excited to show you. So I will also be doing a 
unboxing live <laughs> but okay that's just a quick side note first of all i think this might be a stamp and then you colored it in which is such a clever clever idea i really love the way this looks and it's really a really really beautiful quote as well some days you have to create your own sunshine and then it's a sunflower which is really really cute and like i said i really love your um wax seal stand oh it's another flip book you guys are really really creative with all of these oh, i love this idea i love this idea i'm definitely going to steal slash use that for myself oh this is adorable okay so what i think she did is she cut out different uh flowers different shaped flowers from vintage paper and then she watercolored them so you can actually see here you have some book what am i saying some music note paper and then she covered that with watercolor and it looks so adorable how cute does that look and then she stamped hello and i really like the way this looks definitely going to do that i actually have some paper punches so i could also do like circles and then watercolor really like that idea and then this seems to be her letter to me i think we'll leave that closed for now parrot coloring postcard some tea vanilla chai oh, that sounds so good that sounds really really good um i'm going to put this aside and get some sticky notes later so i can put your name on that i cannot wait to try vanilla chai it sounds really really good I'm all over the place. I need to, let's focus on one page first. Oh wait, oh, I think this was in here loose, but it actually looks like a page, which is also pretty clever. And then we have these two pretty bags. Can I take this off? Yes. This is really clever. She put the bags on here with some washi tape so that I can also reuse them. And these seem to be some, oh, is this a sticky note? That's such a coincidence. There we go with the sticky notes, stickers. Definitely going to use that baggie as well. Fun things this week. What a cute little sticker. And then another little list. And then these. Life is so good. Must do to die. So these are all planner stickers, which I always like. Thank you. I don't know if you're watching this, but thank you so much for the idea of using the little sticky notes for the tea basket, Emma, because I never really knew how to use the little sticky notes. And now I can use all of them. So these are from Rosita, of course. I'm never, ever, ever going to get to the end of the tea basket. It keeps filling up. But I'll put this one on my own tea stash. Okay, and where was I? Where was I? All over the place again. Oh, yes. And then I'm going to look at the second little baggie. I don't know why. Oh, oops. I don't know why, but the... The vellum paper always makes me so excited. You can already get a little peek of what's inside. And in here are some cute little stickers as far as I can see. Oh, a washi tape sample. <gasps> oh, yeah, I can see some teacups on here. Beautiful, really. Oh, that's so cute. Beautiful day. Oh, that's like a, a, a tea theme. <gasps> oh, I love this. But first, coffee. Oh, this is so cute. Can you guys see that? A beautiful day, really? Oh my God, I'm going to use that. I'm really glad you gave me so much because that's the cutest washi time ever. I could use that on like uh, both coffee and tea um, packages because you guys know I love sending tea. Oh, I can see some Mickey or Minnie Mouse. That's such a coincidence. We had Minnie Mouse in the previous one and now again. And then some die cuts oh and you gave me one of the oh this is a handmade sticker i think so she also made me a sticker from the pretty floral design definitely going to put this somewhere i can see it so that i can remember that i want to do that too and then oh another one and another one this one is my favorite this is not actually vintage paper but just I also love that idea of making, cutting out little flowers from different papers and then stacking them on top of each other. How come I never thought of that? And then, oh, that's adorable. What is this? Oh, it's, oh, it's a word puzzle, a word scramble. So for example, this one probably says gals. This one, Cupid, party. Okay, I see some, but not all. Okay, I'm definitely going to fill this in. That's such a fun, that's such a fun little, um, like a puzzle I could fill in. 
So thank you so much for all of this, Stephanie. I cannot wait to read your letter. I'm definitely going to put that aside to read after this video. And I'm going to put your envelope on the to reply to pile as well, so that hopefully I will pick you in the future. And I totally forgot my tea. Um, oh yeah, by the way, I want to say one more thing, and that is because I know that in the last couple of months I have um, gotten... Oh no, I have to sneeze. <laughs> Hi! going to say is that I know that in the last couple of months I have gotten a lot of new subscribers and I get a lot of questions about my PR books but I actually wrote a blog post about that so if you want to read all about my PR books how I pick um, letters to reply to who I pick to reply to if I reply to everyone all the questions you could possibly have will hopefully be answered at my blog post it is in the description box down below in the description box is my PO box address, but also the, the link to the blog post I wrote about it. If there are any things I have not answered, please feel free to let me know, because I would love to update it. <laughs> then, the third one is one from the Netherlands, which is always fun, because it actually does not happen that often. This one is from Sandra, uh, from the Netherlands, like I just said, and first of all, I am in awe, am I saying that correctly? I am in awe of this envelope. I absolutely love it. I think your hand lettering is... I'm jealous and I, I just, I don't know, I just love everything about it. I've seen these stickers before but I never really know how to use them. But you've definitely nailed it. And I love the little doodles and I don't know. <laughs> I just think that this shows you that with... I'm always a little bit uh, intimidated by these big white envelopes, but you've definitely made this so fun and colorful. So that's the my first note, Sandra. Ooh. Oh, I can see... Oh, okay, wait, this is her letter, so I'm going to see if I can... Okay, I'm just going to take this out. Uh, oh, and there's some letter paper for me in here. Oh, and oh, your handwriting is so pretty as well. I'm just going to, turn, to flip it upside down so that I don't show your letter. But this is letter writing paper I can use. It's double sided. Actually, all of my letter paper, or nearly all, is actually one sided. So I really like this. And it's so, so adorable. I love it. Thank you so much, Sandra. That's definitely going on top of my stash. And then also a little, oh, a cute little postcard. It has a little bit of glitter on it. I was feeling it, but you can also see it. A little embossed postcard of a guy giving a rose to a girl. And actually, I actually think this looks a lot like my boyfriend and this looks a lot like me. So this fits us perfectly. And then, oh, I can see some... Oh, it looks like Valentine's Day theme. Oh, yeah. Oh, it says, all you need is love and a cat. Can I hang that somewhere? <laughs> I'm definitely going to hang that somewhere. That's adorable. And then there are some things in here for me as well. Some washi type samples. Oh, so she gave me some of those stickers. I think they're very special because I always hear Brittany McCowan uh, talk about them in her videos. Really cool. Really, really cool. I've actually never had these stickers before, I think. Really cool. Thank you so much. And then this is also a sticker. It's actually looks a little bit like a chalkboard a chalkboard sticker perfect for addresses and then oh there's actually more of them oh this is actually it's cat themed that's adorable this one that says all you need is love and a cat of course this one that says meow wow wow and then this one that says perfect and little fishes on the back and good kitty oh that's adorable i could totally use that in the uh the cat how do you call that? The cat scrapbook that Becca gave me. But I also want to use them as decoration. I don't know. And then the washi tapes are also really cute. This one that says Happy Valentine's Day. And then the lips. Adorable. And I always love the simple pattern ones. So definitely, definitely keeping this. But I especially love the, 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 the lips one. I've never actually had that. So thank you so much, Sandra. I really, really like everything. I'm really excited to use and share the goodies. And I'm definitely going, yeah, my, I have a little journal that I want to save little bits and pieces of your mail in, but it's, I've actually not been 
keeping it up to date because I get a little bit overwhelmed with moving and everything. And that's actually the second thing I had to tell you. I, I started telling you one thing and then I forgot to tell you. Um, one other thing I have to tell you is that there are a lot of PO box opening videos on my channel right now. More PO box opening videos than mail I make videos and that is because we are almost moving. When I'm filming this it's only eight more days until we get the keys to the new house and that's all very exciting but also kind of scary. So I do not actually get to film as much as I would like. So for now it's going to be a lot of PO box opening videos but I know that I will get back to making mail videos in the future because those are so much fun to make. So, okay, what I was saying is that <clears throat> I haven't been updating the little <clears throat> journal, but I would definitely try. <clears throat> What's wrong with my voice? I will definitely try. Oh, I didn't even realize it says have a, have a very happy Valentine's Day here. I will definitely try to cut out this pretty handwriting and put it in that journal. Sadly, it's not big enough to fit the whole envelope because I totally would have. But this is adorable. And Sandra, of course, I'm going to put you on the to reply pile as well. And I hope I get to pick you. I'm going to try the, the green tea jasmine tea. Mm. It's really good because it's green tea. It's quite the usual green tea, but it also has something flowery because of course the jasmine. Great addition, Vivian. This really adds something special to your videos. But okay, final meal. Like I said, I had 12 to open, so I've been absolutely spoiled over the last couple of days. And I'm already for certain that this one is also going to be amazing because this one is from Maria Magdalena or Maria, I'm going to call you Maria from now on. I have to quit, it's from Bulgaria, I think. I covered it up. Yeah, Bulgaria. I covered it up, but I, I was pretty sure Bulgaria. She has sent me mail before and I'm s I've been really looking forward to this because her previous mail was also so special and sweet. And then it already starts off really, really great with this beautiful paper on the front. I mean, I saw this when I opened the PO box and I just immediately got so excited because this is so me, the colors, the flowers, everything. And then also this big washi strip on the back is also very, very me. So as promised, I kept it closed and we're now going to look at it together. Oh my God, it's stuffed. Oh my gosh, first thing I see are these beautiful, beautiful puffy stickers. <laughs> I love that. Okay, I don't know where to start. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just start from the top. And that is by saying that she wrapped everything like a cute little package. A little bar. Oh, this is again such a pretty package. I feel so spoiled. Oh, oh. Wait. I'm just going, I'm just going from the top, I guess. We have, oh, multiple letter stickers. You are so sweet. Okay, okay, Vivian, focus. We have a cute little cat note, which is so adorable, first of all, adorable. Then we have a tag, which I also really, really like. I'm just going to say that I like everything, okay? This thing, oh wait. This is a vintage painting and on the back it says spring by a Bulgarian painter. Cute, it's almost spring. And then this is also wrapped together like a little bundle with paper clips. Oh, this bookmark is so pretty. I love watercolor drawings. I don't know what else to say. Love it. Very pretty bookmark. And then of course, oh, two sheets. No, four. Four, you gave me four sheets. Mm, I'm so spoiled. She gave me four sheets of these adorable uh, little fruity, colorful um, letter stickers, which I absolutely adore. I'm having such a big collection of letter stickers and I still find it hard to use them because they are like my absolute favorite <laughs> item to add to a flip book or something. And then she gave me some of that beautiful paper in the same style as, excuse me, the front of her flip book. I don't know if we have, like, there are certain things in these videos that I say quite often that are like my, 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 uh, 
my usual sentence and one of those things I very often say is I don't know if we have the same style or if you picked these items for me but wow Maria I don't know if you have the same style as me but I absolutely love <laughs> these designs also this is I think an envelope wow it's kind of heavy and this paper also really really cute but I am going to open this one first because that was on top that makes it easier for me you know to go one by one whoa oh my gosh i can see washi type sample yay she gave me some of that pretty big washi type i really like that yay and then wait can i take this out look at that it's packed this is like a little magpie my camera better we died excuse you camera uh like a little magpie envelope yay changing battery chat Okay, so let's get back to it. This very cute magpie bag with all of these kind of fabric flowers almost. And then these buttons, which I absolutely adore. Look at the flowers on them. Oh, that one is my favorite. These are absolutely adorable. I do not do like sewing. I don't knit or anything. I don't actually use buttons the way you're supposed to use buttons but i love using buttons to decorate so these will definitely come in handy the, all of these pretty wooden is this wood i think it's wood uh, butterflies and then all of these incredibly cute different shapes ah that's so cute like you could do so many things with these decorate put them on a string um, that you would use to close a flip book with even put them in shakers i am obsessed am i going to get that back into the envelope i don't know back on there and then this seems to be some sort of happy meal wow don't you guys love this paper this is like perfect for spring it says vivian on the front we have a little wooden bird ah i love your choice of colors oh this is cute 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 this is so cute like last time you already sent me such a thoughtful package and then now even more spoiled i think this might be your letter to me just quickly taking a peek yeah, this definitely looks... Yeah, this is a letter. And what she did is so, so clever. She had this as her writing paper. And then she wrapped it in this little green paper. So that it looks uh, prettier in this vellum envelope. Also, how cute is that pink vellum? So we have a beautifully decorated flip book. Pink vellum envelope. Believe in yourself quote. Little bit of... Um, trim i don't know how you call that beautiful die cut some tea it says sending you some herbal tea this time just going to take this off oh that's so cute balcon tea balcon tea i have no clue what this means it's herbal she says oh wait it says here at the bottom wild marjoram herb thyme rose hips st john's worth herb Chamomile flower. Oh, that actually sounds very, very interesting. I'm just going to add your name, Maria Magdalena. By the way, do you go by Maria or Maria Magdalena? I just, I really like saying your name in full because it sounds so nice. But uh, let me know if I should call you Maria instead. I'm going to add that to the tea basket. You added your own sticky note, which is kind of convenient. And then, oh, meal tag. Oh, some very, very different, difficult questions on here. Okay, this time the battery didn't die, but the the card is full. So, okay, I guess that's it for my seeing my face and my glasses. But wow, this is um, this is so pretty, and you ask me some really hard questions. This one is easy though. Do you play any instruments? Any for what? If yes, what? I used to play the piano, but I don't really. So sorry, all of my cameras seem to be giving up on me. But I was saying that I have some of these stickers myself. They're these really, really pretty vintage looking flower stickers. And you picked some of the most pretty ones out there. Really, really like these. <laughs> Thank you so much, Maria. I really love all of them. And also this this v it's definitely a print on there that i absolutely love so i might try and take that off as well 
and all of it ah, i love all of it so a cute card for me filled with goodies and your letter which i will read later of course and then i can see a postcard really must see bulgaria that's such a cute idea to send to pen pals beautiful postcard a color in postcard which i absolutely love as well i can see a oh an envelope oh and i love these letters so much <gasps> an envelope okay focus on one thing at a time but seriously these letter stickers are like the prettiest ever especially the one that also has the v on it this one and the one in pink like the, the one with the little roses in blue and in pink that's definitely my favorite it's absolutely adorable <laughs> i don't know what else to say i really really like this thank you so much maria we really sometimes i feel like i'm overdoing it in these videos but that's just how much it excites me to see something so pretty like these stickers i just immediately get excited to use them and then some very very sparkly butterflies very cool as well and they're see-through and then some see-through hearts oh no oh this is actually vellum paper i'm actually when i have used all the stickers might actually reuse that paper very sparkly little hearts really cute to add fun little touches and then i can see some paper which i also really really like this one was for background she already put some um some tape here to protect it but i might actually just try and save some of that but wow oh she gave me two of one two of each um design i really like this this is so perfect for spring these flowers i don't know what they're called but they actually started popping up in breda's uh, park you know the, the green park they actually started sprouting already which is kind of early i think in february but it makes me so happy because it means that spring is coming so this sparks joy once again i might actually tear a piece off and put it in my journal like my my agenda just to remind me of spring on its way and then also some of this kind of embossed paper it has little i don't think you can see because it's too dark but it has little dots of glitter on there oh and i think all of them have little sparkly bits wow <laughs> these are so adorable these have sparkly birds and these have sparkly roses and these have sparkly flowers as well so adorable i definitely could use these as the base of for example a flip book or just to you know do anything else uh, craft related and then this one which is quite large actually i really like that and then a butterfly design and there's they're making noise in the background again i'm so so sorry guys but i really wanted to film this as i've been looking at these envelopes for a couple of days and i just really wanted to open the last ones because it's always such a treat <sighs> excuse you oh my cat is afraid of it as well i'm sorry i cannot wait for them to, to go away because they've been there literally the whole time but it's just driving now and that's what the beeping sound is I really hope it's not going to come in front of our window. Oh, I should explain. This is one of those machines that is at the bottom and then it goes like a scissor. It goes up and then they can reach higher places. You know, there's like a little cabin here and they can reach high places. There's a little box with a guy in it at the top and it's driving around in our street. And if he would drive up to in front of our building, then he could actually be peeking inside our apartment which would be kind of awkward since i'm sitting here filming but okay i'm going to end this video anyways first of all can i just say that i i feel like i i hope i say this enough but i appreciate it so much like look at all of the things you guys sent me i am the luckiest lady in the world i really hope um i can continue to connect with you guys like this for a very very long time to come um yeah so i guess that is the most important thing i want to say just a massive massive thank you i try to reply to as many of you as possible but same as the fact that i don't have a lot of time to film right now i also don't have a lot of time or maybe i do have time like today i have time but i don't have the i'm not calm enough to actually sit down and make meal i don't have the space 
in my head to make me own. That sounds kind of weird, but the move and everything is so exciting. Like even now I feel so excited, but also scared and it's just making me restless and oh, so I, I want to make as much meal as possible, but just keep in mind that maybe in March, it will be a little bit less outgoing meal, but I promise I will make up to you guys in the future again um, by sending out tons of happy meal. But as you can see, uh, yesterday I was so happy because I sent out two, but compared to receiving 12, I just cannot keep up. So um, I want to thank you guys for your generosity, your kindness, your support for watching these videos. If you like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps me grow my channel. Uh, for now, I wanna wish you a very, very happy day, a happy week, a happy life. I hope to see you again at the next video. Don't forget to leave a comment or whatever, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.